Unfortunately, every heretic uh, appeals to that uh, mantra, semper reformanda, always reforming. Whenever we want, we uh, mistake novelty with reformation. The point of that motto initially was that in the 16th century, not all of the errors in the church were uh, reformed. Not all of the dirty linen was cleansed. There was still a lot of work left to do, and there's always a lot of work left to do. But when we're talking always reforming, does not always mean always changing. You know, there are those today who, who say, as we've heard almost al already, that the Reformation was a tempest in a teapot, or it was all a misunderstanding, or it was a terrible division in the body of Christ, an unnecessary split where people were fighting over unnecessary details. And the Apostle Paul tells us that we're supposed to try to live at peace with all people, not be by nature quarrelsome and engaging in nitpicking theological uh, arguments. But as Paul himself, when he wrote to Galatians, no wonder Luther called it his Katie von Bora, was it Luther? I mean, Paul just rose up in fury at the Galatian heresy. Why? Because it was a different gospel. We're talking not about a tempest in a teapot. We're talking about Hurricane Irma. We're, we're talking about one that is devastating to life and limb. Whenever you negotiate or compromise the necessary saving truth of Jesus Christ. Now, we always have to be involved in Reformation. And like I said, every heretic in the modern church claims that as an excuse for departing from the truth of Scripture, but that was not its original intent. Chris, um, you know, I, I was brought up in, in uh, you know, the wilds of Scotland uh, where they were still speaking Latin, and I was, I was always taught from early days as a Christian uh, that the Latin motto was Ecclesia Reformata, that is, the church that has been reformed, uh, semper reformanda est, always needs to be reformed. And I think sometimes when people say, well, semper reformanda, you really need to stop them and say, well, what about the reformata? Once the church has been reformed according to Scripture, it needs to keep on being reformed according to Scripture, but let's get it reformed first, not changed first, but reformed according to Scripture. So, you know, we just… sometimes we need to be a bit uppity and uh, ask people how good their Latin is. <laughs> I'm only kidding. I learned that from R.C. <laughs> <laughs>